Taroko Gorge may be one of Taiwan's most magnificent national parks. Its deep marble canyon walls, crystal clear blue waters, and wide array of hiking trails draw visitors from all over the world. Join me as we explore the breathtaking landscape, try the local delicacies, and hike one of the scariest yet most rewarding trail in the park. Ni hao and good morning from one of the most beautiful places in the entire country of Taiwan. This is the Taroko Gorge National Park. And today we're gonna be exploring the beautiful trails, the crystal clear blue waters, hiking one of the most epic trails in the entire country. And we begin right here in the archway of Taroko. There are many amazing trails to choose from here in Taroko Gorge. One of the most popular ones that I'll be taking you guys on is the Shakadang Trail. The trail falls the Shakadang River into the canyon. You can take it as far as you want to go and then you can turn around or loop it back which will make it around five kilometers. Now right off the bat as you pass the bridge you have a beautiful crystal clear blue water. I've never seen anything like it. It feels like I'm in the Caribbean. The gorge is starting to get narrow but following the river and listening to the sound of it is just so soothing and take a look how just how blue the water is and the formation on these walls is just I, I can't fathom everything I'm just so happy to be here and exploring it and sharing these adventures with you guys This does not feel real. Does this color look real to you guys? I promise I didn't alter it. You can see the fish swimming down here and then the colors and the shapes of those cliffs are truly amazing. We're about a mile and a quarter into the hike. I'm gonna turn back around and continue exploring some other hikes. You can continue on the Shakadang Trail for another three, four miles, but I think this is a good turnaround spot. On the way back, you have to stop at the stall and get the famous Shakadang sausage. It's a lemon basil flavored sausage made right here locally and it's a must. Oh my gosh, this has to be one of the best sausages I've ever had. I highly recommend this. Just up the road from the Shakadang Trail, we find ourselves in front of one of the most important landmarks here in Taroko Gorge, the Chang Chun Temple, also referred to as the Eternal Spring Shrine. It was built here to commemorate all the workers who lost their lives building a cross island highway that connects the east and the west part of Taiwan through the rugged mountains that divide the country into two. There are a couple ways to explore Taroko Gorge. You can take a public bus from the main Hualien train station. The best way is to either rent a scooter like I am or rent a car. That way you have the freedom to explore at your own pace. Let's keep going. Taroko Gorge is frequently by rock falls, landslides, and sometimes which causes road closure. So you can see there's a road closure here, but the sign that I was able to translate through Google app says that there's certain release times that they let cars pass through. You always have to plan ahead, and sometimes the park can even close due to typhoon warning in the area. But this is one reason why it's worth renting a scooter when coming to Taroko because instead of waiting in the line of cars that stretches all the way over there, you can just take your scooter all the way to the front of the line. Yeah. 
after a little bit of a wait, I finally got through the construction and I am about to step onto the longest and the largest suspension bridge here in Taroko Gorge. This is the Bulawan Suspension Bridge, 196 meters across and 152 feet above the ground. Take a look behind me. You guys can maybe see the road down there that goes along the river. Now the views from here are fantastic in every direction. Right next to the Bulawan Suspension Bridge, there is an information center, there's a restaurant, and on top of that hill is a Taroko Village Hotel. It's the only accommodations within the park. Most people who come to Taroko stay outside in the city of Hualien, where they can take the public transportation or rent a scooter from there and explore on their own. But let's hop back on the bike and continue exploring Taroko. You may be wondering why I'm wearing this goofy helmet. That's to protect me from the rockfall that can happen here at Swallow Grotto Trail. These helmets you can rent for free at the start of the trail. But this trail is a one and a half kilometer trail walking right next to the river showcasing the beautiful cliffs of Taraku Gorge. Now something interesting is this road used to be the main highway going through Taraku until 2017 the government finally shut it down because of the high congestion of pedestrians and he, they built the road right around it. Another Taroko exclusive. This is a waffle with a cream filling, which can be purchased here for 120 Taiwanese dollars, which is four US dollars, with the amazing view of the cliffs here. I'm really trying to embrace the food culture here. So this is a mango flavored sausage from the same shop. Mmm. It's good, but it's not as good as the first one. I had the lemon basil sausage. Still pretty good. I am officially on one of the most popular hikes here in the area, the most sought after, the Zulu Old Road. I officially picked up my permits and I just got goosebumps just thinking that I'm here. Only 150 people are allowed on this trail each day to help preserve the trail. Wow. And the hike starts right over the suspension bridge as we're gonna be climbing all the way up on those cliffs so we can have some one of the best views of Taroko Gorge. When you do decide to do this trail, you're in for quite a workout. It stairs all the way till it reach the narrow part where you're right next to the cliff, looking straight down. I think that views are definitely going to be worth it at the end. Another suspension bridge. You can see the birds flying in the sky. I did see a couple monkeys further away in the tree. We're so high up here. And to my right, you could see the beautiful cliffs. Don't look down if you're afraid of heights and hold on to your heads because it's quite windy. 
I'm just about entering the cliff outcropping trail. Can you imagine many years ago before the Taiwanese government extended this trail, it was only 30 centimeters wide, just enough for your two feet to squeeze by. Look at this. These are probably some of the best views you can get in Taroko Gorge. And the trail is so narrow. The only other place like this in the world that I know of is the Highline Trail in Glacier National Park in USA. The trail ends right around the corner. From the start of the Zulu Trail, it's 3.1 kilometers that's open to the public. And the trail ends right at the beautiful overlook of the Swallow Cliff down below and the Liwu River. Now you do need permits to do this hike. The permits you can apply at the Tarako Gorge National Park website. I will leave the link in the video description below. You can apply up to 30 days in advance. There's only 150 spots. Once you apply and get approved for the permit, you have to either print Print it or screenshot it on your phone and bring it to the toll booth station along with your passport ID and 200 Taiwanese dollars. This is why I recommend renting your own vehicle so you can explore places like this. These are the Kinshi Cliffs dropping over 2,500 vertical feet right into the ocean where it meets that turquoise water and it turns darker blue as you move out. It feels unreal. Taiwan's coast is one of the most spectacular places I've ever been. I wake up every morning wondering how can today be better than yesterday but every day continues to raise the bar and makes Taiwan one of my favorite countries that I've been to so far. From the beautiful cliffs of Tarako Gorge, scary hikes, amazing drives, beautiful turquoise ocean, Taiwan is just an adventure paradise. Tonight I'll be heading over to Luodong on the east coast just north of here where I'll be exploring Taipingshan National Forest and taking the famous Bong Bong train. I hope to see you guys next week and in the meantime check out my Taiwan playlist. That is all for me. Good night guys. Mm -hmm.